How would you like to have a new way of prospecting clients that not only differentiates you, but also shows value at the same time? Today, I'm going to show you guys exactly what you can do in prospecting a client by sending them a video using this particular platform called Loom. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about, and I'll definitely link below so you guys can get it as well. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and definitely give it a thumbs up. All right, so this program or software is called Loom, L-O-O-M. And what it allows you to do is screen share while doing a video, as you guys can see down here in the right-hand corner, me. Um, you can adjust the, the video size to make it smaller, you can make it bigger. But this is awesome because you can send them a link that's customized to them so you can see when they view it, um, they can also leave comments on it and you know if they find it valuable because you just simply ask them in the video, hey, like, is this something that's valuable? Simply reply to this email with a yes or a no. And if they reply with a yes, fantastic. You guys can move on to the next step of actually talking to them over the phone. So here's how I break it down. What I do is I always start off with having their uh, website open in the background. So that way when the thumbnail is placed in the email, they can see that it's their website. It also will have an image of you in the bottom right hand corner here. And then I simply open with like, uh, hi, my name is Greg and I'm looking to see if I could help you get more customers to your restaurant. Um, obviously this isn't my niche, so uh, it's a little bit more fine tuned, but what you do is you go and look for people that are already doing marketing. So if you Google restaurant in Anaheim, you'll get a ton of different um, Google ads. So as you can see here, this is the one I'm selecting, which is organic vegan bowls, true season kitchen. The reason why this is so important is because if this restaurant's already spending money on advertising, they know that it's important to market their business, right? Google AdWords is also more expensive than Facebook ads because it depends on the clicks, right? Some, some keywords are more expensive than others. So their costs can be varying, but this shows that they see the value of it. So I always start with the website and then I go right to here to show them that I found their Google ad. That way they know exactly how I found it, which is restaurant in Anaheim, right? So after analyzing their website, you can do a walkthrough of uh, what it looks like, the feel of it, uh, just your overall critique of it, right? And you can see that they have these different images here and then they have social links down here at the bottom and they also have them squeezed in right here. I didn't even see them the first time when I scrolled past it. But the other key part is this. So you need these two Chrome extensions and I'll add these in the bottom of the description that way you know exactly which ones to get. But the two that I use are the Google Tag Manager or a tag assistant, sorry. And what it shows is all the different tags that are on the website. So you can see here, they have Google Analytics installed. They have Google Analytics installed twice. So they have another one that's, uh, but it's not working properly. They also have Google Tag Manager. But the thing that they're missing is the remarketing tag. So if they have a Google AdWords and somebody lands on their website, they don't have anything that's gonna remarket them. So they don't have anything that's gonna show like a display ad if they're on another website. So essentially the only way you're gonna see this ad again right here is if they type in restaurant in Anaheim. And even then it might not show up right away because you know if you uh, press enter like this, it'll cycle through a different set of um, restaurants, right? So this is really important to point out to them like, hey, you guys are missing something. It also shows that there's an error here by the looking face that's a happy face, that's a O face. Um, <coughs> by showing them that you can add value by pointing out the things that are missing. The other key piece is the Facebook ad pixel. So this is another thing that you wanna have. So we can see right here that they don't have the Facebook pixel installed, which tells us that they're not using Facebook advertising. Uh, maybe they are, but maybe they're only doing the boosted posts, which means they're not doing it properly. So that's something important that you also wanna point out. And another way that you can add value the next thing I do is I go over to their social media and I assess their social media. You know, I take a look at their profile picture, their cover art, uh, how many people like it. And you can see here, there's a good amount of people that like the post. You scroll down, you can talk about their reviews. Maybe they don't have enough. Maybe they have a good amount, right? Then you can see like their images or videos. And then the first thing I want to always want to talk about is their most recent post, right? So the last time this restaurant posted was on July 19th. They haven't posted anything since then. And then the next one was on July 3rd. 
And then the next one was on June 19th. So you can talk about the inconsistency of them posting as well as just how they're, they're captioning stuff. Um, you can also talk about is their website linked properly. Um, and you just continue to do an audit of this, right? You can also go to their Instagram. You can also include their uh, YouTube if they have it. And this is a much, much more efficient way of doing an audit. This way, one, you don't have to leave your house. You can send it directly to their email. It shows more value because it's customized to them. You're also not wasting a ton of time filling out those social media audits. God knows when I was trying to do the paper audits where I was like typing everything out and analyzing and copying, pasting, cutting and all that stuff, it would take me an hour and a half just to do one audit. This way, you can knock out an audit of their website and their social media in about 20 minutes, okay? Once you have, um, once you uh, do your audit, what you do is you simply come over here, you click the check mark button, it'll save the video, it'll let you edit the title where you can add in like, um, you know, True Seasons Organic at the top for the title, and then it gives you a couple different options for posting. So you can have um, where you type in the, or you can share it on Facebook, you can share it uh, through an email. And the cool thing is that when you share it through an email, it'll actually create a little thumbnail for you that they can click the play button directly on and it'll say the title of the restaurant or whatever niche you're in. So you can put like, um, you know, true seasons and then it'll say watch here. And then they click on it and then it takes them right to the video on the platform and then they can leave comments. It show, it'll email notify you once they viewed it as well. So it's not like you're gonna get like thousands of views on it. If they view it like two or three times, you know they're watching it. And then if they don't reply to you, you can simply send another email or call them and say, hey, like I sent you this custom uh, video the other day, just wanted to get your feedback and see what you thought about it. This is by far the coolest thing that I've seen. I mean, I know there's a ton of other screen share options out there that you can use, but this one seems to be the easiest and it's free. That's the best part, it's free. You don't have to pay for anything and you can get unlimited videos. It, um, when you first sign up, it limits you to 10 minutes, but then after that, like once you unlock the other features, then you can get it for as many minutes as you want. But if you guys love this video, definitely go ahead and subscribe to this and I would love a thumbs up. Uh, like I said below, I'll include the link so you guys can get your own uh, Zoom or sorry, Loom platform. And then I'll also include the links for the other extensions that you need to have installed on your Chrome bar. That way you can really show value. So thanks for watching guys and talk to you soon.